mostly had more bass on this than any other rig. This rig is absolutely superb. I'm not using these bits of string, obviously, but when we come to tie it, I've honestly had more bass on this than any other rig. It's so simple and it fishes out of holes really well. If you get snagged, the lighter line, which is represented by this red line here, snaps off and you're in direct contact with the fish. So when that pulls tight, okay, that's going to be running right down to your um, reel and you'll be able to feel the bites on this light line. Okay, let's get on with tying the rig and hopefully it'll make a bit more sense. It's a great rig this one. Uh, I hope you do tie it and I hope you catch some good bass. Okay, we're not using too much terminal tackle on this one. Uh, just a couple of swivels. These are the 100 pound ones. Super small, but also very strong. Uh, they're black as well, not too shiny. Now, in front of me here, what I've done is I've taken uh, about 20 inches or so. You can vary that depending on the um, sort of bottom that you're fishing over. But 20 inches there of 20 pound breaking strain line on one end, uh, the swivel. And then on the other end here, we're going to attach a lead weight. Now, we're actually going to attach this lead uh, straight onto the line. Now, that's not something that you'd normally recommend, particularly with six ounce weights, um, but we're going to tie that directly onto the lead, and it's in effect going to work like a, a rotten bottom element to the rig. So if this snaps off, you've still got a chance of keeping the fish, which is on another part of the line. Obviously, this is only going to work if you're casting short distances, and again, no more than three ounces for this one. Um, because you do run the danger of that snapping off with a vicious cast. So you've got to be confident that you're doing a nice, easy cast. This isn't something that we'd normally recommend. Um, normally with beach casting with a 6-ounce lead, you're obviously going to want a lead clip in there um, in addition, and you're obviously going to have a lot thicker line as well. But for this form of bass fishing, what we're doing is a very gentle lob, um, and a skilled cast to drop this lead most of the time it's almost going to be at your feet as well and we're using a lot lighter line so be very cautious by putting the lead directly onto the um, the line like this but it does work like a rotten bottom element to the rig uh, which is exactly what we want so we can keep hold of that fish using another part of the line okay so in front of us here we've got the lead attached there to the swivel and that is our lower breaking strain line say of 20 pounds and now in my hand what I've got is 25 pound breaking strain the difference being that if they both get hung up it should be this one here that snaps first whether that's round a rock or stuck in the um, gully or something like that okay so that should snap off and then this line here will be slightly shorter in length as well I normally make them about oh, sort of 18 15 inches something like that um, and then hopefully this one, if anything's going to break, it will be that one. Okay, so same thing again really, uh, using the same knot that we used, uh, you're going to put a swivel on one end, and then on the other end here, uh, you're going to tie your hook on. I'm actually using quite a wide gaped hook here, something I've been trying out with the peeler crab, um, soft peeler crab baits. Obviously it depends on what bait you're using as to the hook. And simply tie the same knot, again, just the blood knot for this size of line. Five or six turns round, making sure it's nice and taut. Pick the tail end up here through the loop. Moisten it. Hold the hook. Pull it tight. And then have a good close-up look at that knot as well. Make sure that that's okay. And with the clippers, I'll just clip that off. And there we go. So what we've got in front of us there then are the two elements the lead attached to the swivel on the thinner line and then the swivel attached to the hook on the thicker line be about five pound in in break and strain difference between those and I take them to the venue basically like that uh, with a one ounce or three ounce lead attached now in my hand here I've got the main line and this will obviously be coming off the rod tip down to this rig uh, I'm just about a ready to fish sort of thing um, now the idea is that the hook attached to the swivel is going to go onto the main line there, okay, and then the lead swivel is going to be running up and down the line. And the idea is you're in direct contact with the fish, so if the fish is nibbling at the bait, you get a really good feel for what's going on without it actually lifting the bait, uh, sorry, lifting the weight off the bottom of the the sea. That's the idea, but I have caught so many bass with this, and you, it's great because you really get the feel 
uh, what they're doing, whether they're just nosing a bait or whether they've you know made a good run for it. You'll be able to feel it with this uh, rig setup. You just thread the swivel that's got the lead attached down the line and sort of forget about that for the minute. And you can put a bead in as well. And the idea of the beads, it just stops it, stops it jamming up on the other swivel or, or bending the swivels when the two, two swivels sort of meet together. So you can put a, a little bead on. I use these little aero beads. I think with this sort of rig, it's important to use dark colors, uh, clear or black beads. You're not trying to attract the fish with the beads. They simply serve a purpose in the rig. So you'll also be fishing in clearer water. I'm only talking about catching fish here in, in three foot of water. So you need to have the sort of terminal tackle kept to a minimum. Okay, and then so you're tying the knot now with your thicker main line. Uh, same knot again actually should do us here. Okay, five turns of this. Um, and then pull it tight after you've moistened it. There you go. And then we just clip it with the clippers. It's such a simple rig and it's all I use for fishing for bass really now around the rocks where there's big boulders, um, a bit snaggy. And um, yeah, let us know how you get on. I'd love to know if you use this rig or you've used something similar. I know a lot of bass anglers that use this rig uh, and they swear by it really for bite detection. Super simple as well, less less likely to get snagged. Uh, you can use um, grip leads. You could use a, you know, I've seen even seen people use stones um, with this. But yeah, it'd be great if you could let us know how you get on, if you've tied it before or if you can think of any good improvements for it. But as I say, I've used this over the years and it is definitely my number one bass rig. Caught more bass on this than anything else by far. So please subscribe if you like these sort of videos. Um, we're doing top 10 sea fishing videos. We're doing the odd tackle review, these rig ones, and of course the sea fishing marks as well uh, if you want to fish somewhere on the UK's coastline. Thanks very much for watching.